Welcome back to The Breakfast Show, the show with Waking Up For. On our first day, Raya special, Leia here to keep you guys company and also to give you the feel of Hari Raya here in a wonderful location at Kampung Sungai Penchala. That's not the only thing we would like to give you. We also want to give you this wonderful uh, recipe for this very delicious um, organic oatmeal cornflake cookies. And because we want to keep it healthy, especially this Raya season, we want to make sure our stomachs get used to the whole 30 days of puasa and then Hari Raya is completely organic. So it's also uh, very good for the tummy. And to uh, speak to us a bit more about it, we have a director of Eco Nights. Let's see, your biologist by profession, mm -hmm. environmentalist uh, by passion, uh -huh. and a yummy cookie maker for the TBS show. Yeah, for you, anything. <laughs> Welcome, Yasmin Rashid. Um, uh, so, okay, tell us a bit more about the efforts um, being held by Eco Nights. Um, we actually are a non-profit environmental organization, mm -hmm. and we do a lot of grassroots conservation activities. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of stuff with children. We run recycling workshops with the oh. children, and we also do a lot of outdoorsy kind of educational programs mm -hmm. where the kids are actually taken away from the normal you know classroom environment yeah. and they get to enjoy nature and learn about nature at the same time exactly I, I suppose when you when you actually see it in front of you the interest sparks whether or not you're an environmentalist type of person or an indoor type of person you you do enjoy end up yes. enjoying the outdoors yes mm. and I think the most important thing that it's meaningful for me is because I, I have a six-year-old daughter as well mm. and she participates in most of my programs okay. and it's amazing how I guess she picks up stuff she learns from, from what I teach mm -hmm. and she normally assists the other kids with it. So we've got a little little mini eco night following with me and I think it's a good opportunity for me to actually combine work mm. um, and my passion Time. for the environment exactly. and, and, and family. family. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. Now speaking of family, this is a wonderful treat to serve your family. It's it's um, organic. Now, okay, mm. when you say organic, what does that mean? I mean, because some of the uh, ingredients look pretty standard. Normal, right? Yeah. Um, organic basically means um, that it's free from pesticides. All right. Um, if you're talking about chicken meat mm -hmm. and all that, it's a, the source of the meat, it's it's free from antibiotics. Okay. Um, and it's just a sim simple, healthier option. Okay. Um, for people who don't have much health problems, mm -hmm. I guess whether you eat organic or not doesn't matter. Yeah. But for those who are more sensitive mm -hmm. to, to chemicals, mm -hmm. organic food actually does make a whole lot of difference to, to your body oh, in general and then your well-being too. I see. All right, so um, if you can just take us through, we've got, we've got some ready-made there. I'm, I can't wait to get our <laughs> hands good. on the ready-made ones, but we want to show how to make the cookies. Let's start with the ingredients. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, uh, for the what we're gonna what we're gonna do for this recipe is mm -hmm. we're gonna break all the ingredients in three parts. All right. All right. So I'm gonna introduce what we need for the first part okay. first. Uh, we need two organic eggs. Right. You can purchase these eggs basically from any organic mm -hmm. shop. Um, caster sugar, right. um, and then we also have brown sugar, right. one cup each, and two eggs. Um, another cup of butter, mm -hmm. and one teaspoon of um, vanilla essence. There we go. Yeah. Let's show that. That yeah. much. That much. Just a bit. Right. You don't want to have it overpowering the entire taste. Yeah. yeah? Okay. And that's the first batch. Right. And then for the second batch, we use two cups of uh, organic flour. Okay. Uh, again, you can purchase it off the shelf. Mm -hmm. It's quite easily available. Um, two teaspoons of um, baking soda. Right. There we go. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. One teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. And then one teaspoon. Um, I prefer to use sea salt, uh, but you can use any normal salt. Mm -hmm. I, I just find it um, more healthier. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? I mean, since because you are, <laughs> you can explain the difference between normal uh, salt and yeah, sea salt. Yeah, it's just uh, minus a lot of processes. I see. So uh, this is what you it's get. As natural as it can get. As, yeah, exactly. It's similar to brown sugar. White sugar is just the processed version of brown sugar, brown sugar basically. Okay. So we'll and try to go healthy all the way. Inshallah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then for the third batch, of we course. have two cups of uh, oats. Mm -hmm. uh, any Quaker oats or oatmeal will mm -hmm. be fine. 
and two cups of your favorite cornflakes. Um, oh. Yeah, it could be anything. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't you, matter the brand, right? Yeah, if you like it really sweet, then you can use those, those yeah. frosty ones. Yeah. All right, great. Okay, now the process would take roughly about how long? It takes very fast. I mean, to just mix this all up will probably take about 10 minutes. All right. And then you pop it in the oven for about eight minutes mm -hmm. uh, at about 350 degrees. Uh -huh. uh, and then voila, you got your first batch done. Fantastic. Let's, let's start. Okay, let's start. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the butter in the bowl. Okay. And then well, the butter is basically, from what I see, it's um, one, one quarter? Uh, one cup. One cup. One cup. One cup. Uh, one cup for each. All for right. the white sugar as well. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Then we have the brown sugar. Why, why, why the brown and white sugar? Um, I guess it gives a little bit of crunchiness to the whole recipe with the brown sugar. Oh, okay. uh, at the same time, um, instead of having two cups of white sugar, we kind of just want to have the healthier option. Right, you could opt to just use two cups of brown sugar. Mm. Uh, it's actually an indi individual taste. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add the two eggs. Cool. Okay. And then put in the vanilla essence. Okay. So if you have one of those really high-end machines, all you have to do is just stir it all up yeah, until it becomes a yellowish, creamy dough. Okay, so we're gonna put this aside. And then for the second batch, we're gonna add the flour, two cups, um, two teaspoons of soda. Do you make this a lot at home? Um, it's easy. It smells really good oh when it's out, God. and my daughter can't stop picking at it. Oh, so really? It's quite simple because I make a lot of batter and I keep it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I have time, I just pop it in the oven and you have right. some cookies for dessert. And you know, I mean, well, well, once your daughter reaches a certain age, like say about 10, she can basically burn it. She you know, can, it yeah, yeah, though I don't trust her too much, oh. but <laughs> she did try to help. Yeah. Uh, one teaspoon of sea salt. All right. um, and what we do with this mm -hmm. is we kind of just mix it up. I see. No whisking so much like that. No, a... yeah, just a bit. Mm -hmm. And pour everything in. Yes, nice. we pour everything in. Oh, so you pour the flour into that? Yes. Okay. Okay. Is there a difference if we do it the other way around? Uh, not really. Oh, so, <laughs> so I just have to make sure because I, I love cooking. But when it comes to baking, I never have the patience. I know what you mean. I know, I know what you mean. And it doesn't really turn out well so most of the yeah. time. Um, but if you, like I say, you have one of the super duper machines. Uh, yeah. It that just blends everything exactly. really well. It makes life okay. a whole lot easier too. And right. what I'm going to do last mm -hmm. is to add the cornflakes okay. and the rolled oats. But then again, this is um, up to you. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you're not an OT person, then you can reduce that. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to add more conflicts, it, it's up to you. What I realized with, uh, with well, with kids, oh, okay, I'm lying, with me, I like a little bit of like chocolate in yes. my cookies especially. Yes. So can we add in yeah. chocolate chips yep. or chocolate rice? Definitely, like because like you know how um, kids would like loads of chocolate and yeah. nuts in it as well, right? So what happens is when you stir that up, mm -hmm. you're going to end up with a batter like this. I see. Let's have okay. A All right, there we go. Yep. Yeah. And what you do is, mm -hmm. you just use your fingers, your clean fingers. All right. And you just kind of pinch a bit. Okay. And you start putting laying it on the tray. Mm -hmm. um, it helps to make sure that your tray is lined or greased with some butter first so All that right. it doesn't stick. Yeah. That's right. And what you can do is, assuming this is a walnut or a chocolate chip, mm -hmm. we can just stick it right in. Right. Or you can even do it with the cornflake, actually. Yeah, exactly. So it looks quite cute. Right. And you can be as creative as you want. Mm -hmm. Pop it in the oven for about eight minutes mm -hmm. at about 350 degrees and what you come up with is and this. you have cookies that look yummy yummy this little piece right here i did that i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> so this is mine we're going to remove that from and put that on my plate there and this is what you get so okay a batch like this would how how, how many would it would it it um, would make actually? a lot um as you can tell with this small piece here mm. because of the baking soda and the powder it expands uh -huh. to about that size see so, so this much can pretty much feed a whole well it's, it's penuh satu balang lah yeah basically. you can have your friends over and then they definitely can, you know, and nibble at it it's not it's not limited to uh, raya goodies only you no. can also have this as a normal well it's actually you can quite dip a, it with milk yes a healthy feast you know i mean and it's um organic enough it's natural enough healthy enough for let's say sometimes you know the kids don't really want to eat at night yeah, and everything yeah. so Yep. Uh, uh, you get your fiber from here. Yeah, just a word about organic. A lot of people um, 
I mean, it is slightly more expensive than mm. what you can normally get. Yeah. But I think when we take into consideration our health mm. and for a little bit more, for 30 cents more, 40 cents mm. more, we might as well take the organic way exactly. and, and inculcate that inside, you know, the family and the children as well. Yeah, exactly. Actually, when you do the math, when you do the math, it's like, what, 30 cents, 50 cents yeah. more a, uh, a month yeah. as opposed to a medical bill. Yeah, exactly. Which goes on exactly. and on. So, yeah. yeah. So, you might want to be, uh, want to think about, you know, adopting the healthy organic lifestyle mm -hmm. uh, as starters. Organic cookies, organic oatmeal, uh, cornflake cookies. cookies. Or when it comes to me, of course, it will become organic cornflake uh, oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to try this at home, and um, inshallah, one day I'm going to share it with uh, viewers of the breakfast show. But for now, thank you so much, thank you so Yasmin. much for having me. Yes, thank you so much, and hopefully you stick around. We've got some um, lem uh, not lemang. No, no, no. Oh. We have some ketupat nasmi. Oh, awesome. So I, I, <laughs> I, can't wait I to don't see guarantee that. the taste, <laughs> but it does fill the tummy and All it is right. good. All it's right, good so we're gonna go for a short break. We'll be right back on the breakfast show. The show with waking up for this is our Raya special.